There we go. Hmm. Close enough. God, I love that stage setup. It's like that all curved around stage looks really freaking badass. And there he is. Thank you. The boy I'm so DJ glad Co. To be back in Brooklyn to unveil the newest version of the world's most powerful note. But yeah, this is kind of bizarre because I'm so used to watching these after the fact on like but 2x speed. I am, so watching it I on I am normal speed and it's like a three hour presentation excited. is going to be kind of the. I'm not here judged. Although granted that's three hours including that beginning device. part, so I don't know how much of that, you know, Six is part of the three hours. In San Francisco, we open the world's eyes to new possibilities that will drive a new decade of innovation and progress. Yeah, they announced the Galaxy then, Fold last time, I which hasn't shipped Samsung yet because it fucked up. Innovator of new they innovated, but they failed that flow with us seamlessly and continuously wherever we go. Experiences that reach across every device, platform, and brand. Today, I'm here to show you how we are translating this vision into meaningful innovation by pioneering new technologies, creating new categories, and forging new partnerships. Ten years ago, the smartphone changed how we work, connect, and express who we are. Now, the time has come to take the next big leap into the future. It begins with a new approach to technology progress that we call experience innovation. Experience innovation is more than just the features on a smartphone. It is the integration of devices, services, and the capabilities across a universe of Galaxy devices and our vast partner ecosystem. So that experience flows seamlessly and continually to unlock the potential of your ideas and make your life easier. Experience innovation is possible now because game-changing technologies like 5G have created the perfect conditions to do more. With millions of connected devices per square mile exchanging data at hyper-fast speeds, 5G is racing us toward new frontiers. Samsung is at the forefront of the innovations that are making this possible. 5G will enable us to download a full season of our favorite show in a few seconds. Our cities will be safer and smarter. Transportation will be faster and more reliable. Our businesses will be more productive and more efficient. But as 5G connects, more and more devices, security becomes more important than ever and more complicated. 
Experience innovation depends on trust in the networks you connect with, the services you use, and the devices you depend on. At Samsung, we know the foundation for trust is security. Security must be built into the device, from chipset to kernel, device to network, and app to cloud. Through Samsung's secure supply chain and the industry's most robust risk analysis, we are setting new standards for security. And with Samsung Knox, we deliver multi-layer security that is recognized by governments around the world. We are forging trust by embedding security measures into every aspect. Yeah, this part is always like the most boring part of the whole presentation. It's like, world. I get you have to have a little bit of like, oh yeah, your vision now, and stuff, but it's like it goes on forever. Innovation into every device At the start, it's like, I just want to see the damn phone. Every service we deliver. It is at the heart of our commitment to a generation that seeks to live and work on their terms. A generation that has left work-life balance behind and embraced work-life flow. A generation that is searching for purpose and meaning in everything they do. A generation that values authenticity, flexibility, and the speed. I admire their ambitions. So for everyone who demands the best, I'm proud to introduce the newest version of the world's most powerful mobile device. And here we go, finally. The ultimate power phone for power users, the Galaxy Note 10 delivers the speed and the productivity. You need to knock out the most demanding project anywhere, anytime. Unleash your creativity to share real-time stories by posting professional quality videos to your social feed. Oh, they're just showing video like photos During of the phone and stuff without even like formally fully announcing it with yeah, like free performance and the movie quality visuals and when your life is packed with back-to-back -back meetings you will know I mean I'd like it's that interesting though because I mean up and running one has probably been linked all, all the hell and second that means the note design is always basically so, similar to the for note, those who are the galaxy the S so by reinventing the present. It is my pleasure to introduce the Galaxy Note 10. It's like a big fancy introduction like this basically makes no sense if you only just showed it, so like... And now we're just going to sit here awkwardly for like two minutes. Well, Thank you. Okay. Actually, it went faster than usual. <laughs> but it's usually like, got to sit there awkwardly for like a minute or two while they just hold There's the phone around and everybody takes photos. So many of the bonds to share that will drive new mobile experience innovations for years to come. At least they sped that part up. Plus, a special guest 
you won't want to miss. Hmm. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Now I wonder who that might be. And enjoy the show. Thank you. But yeah, because I'm curious, because I did hear like some uh, rumors before the event that um there might be some like big Microsoft related thing happening. So maybe this special guest is Microsoft CEO Satila Nadello, whatever his name is. It's great to be back here in New York City to introduce the incredible. Well, I mean, they could pull something like they did a few years ago, where they Note freaking had um, Mark Zuckerberg show up. It's a generation that's reshaping everything about how we work and how we live. These days, we're catching up on work email one minute and gaming with friends the next. The line between work and play has pretty much disappeared. And that means we need technology that can seamlessly flow between the two. These devices we're unveiling here today are built for this new era of mobile productivity. I love how the immersiveness and of the screen is kind of ruined by those little notches at work. the bottom. I also mean how we create and live our lives. To help us do all that, our devices have to be versatile, powerful, and seamlessly It's, I'm guessing, that's some kind of like um, airflow thing or something. I don't know. A smartphone that can do anything designed for people who want to. I still know that is one thing I will say. Like, I don't like Samsung's products, but mostly the because their software on them is complete the shit, but their hardware is always all, like top notch and looks more amazing. Space to write, draw, and create the way only note users can. And now, for the first time, people who've always wanted the power of the note on a smaller device will be able to experience it too. We've packed all the power and productivity of the note into two different sizes. So mm. you can choose the one that's right for you. Honestly, it kind of makes sense they do that because um, one of the biggest complaints about the, the note has always that been, well, it's way too big, which is understandable. Smaller, more compact form so, you know, now that we've they have the made. full screen kind of thing, they can actually make it slightly smaller. Fans, the Note 10 Plus comes with the biggest screen ever on a note. It's like no more bezels. You can get it down super small for the same thin, size screen. Less than eight millimeters. And of course, they both come with a display that gives you a truly incredible cinematic viewing experience. The Note 10's dynamic AMOLED display is brilliant and utterly immersive. Dynamic. And it gives off less. That's definitely not something they usually use. So maybe it's got HDR. I'm guessing. We designed the Note 10 to give you more screen with less interruptions. In fact, the front of the phone has virtually no bezels, giving it the highest screen to window ratio ever on a note. To make room for all that Never screen, heard that them say the screen to smaller. window ratio. It's and usually like it at the top it's usually the like display. screen to body. Yeah. At the bottom, we built an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor right beneath the glass. So you can easily unlock I still I kind of liked it better before the they erased away that camera bezel. Learning. Because it just, it's like, yeah, it technically makes it smaller and stuff, but like, it just kind of looks odd with that little gap between the top finish. of the display and the top the of the camera. Has a seamless it could have just pushed the camera up just slightly. Two buttons on the side. When it comes to color, we've designed some amazing new options. Honestly, I love that glow color. No matter which note you choose, there'll be a perfect color for you including the one-of-a-kind Aura Glow, which creates iridescent colors by refracting light. It's I always love those phones that have, like, different course, colors when you no look at them at different color angles. You choose, your Note 10 will come with the trademark feature of the Note series, the S Pen. Since the very first Galaxy Note, users have always recognized that the S Pen is more than just a simple tool. It's the heart of the Note experience. And Note users inspire us every year to keep pushing the limits of what the S Pen can do. You've gone from jotting down quick reminders to taking detailed notes, from sketching pictures to creating amazing works of art. The S Pen experience has become so powerful that we're bringing it to other devices too, including the brand new Galaxy Tab S6 that we mm. just introduced last week. Here, let's check it out. Yeah, 
yeah, honestly, that's kind of smarter than to bring it to more devices, because Bespin is like the killer feature of the Note, so, and having it on a tablet and like a computer and stuff too is like, definitely a good idea. Although, you can't tell me that tablet does not look like an iPad Pro. Like, almost exactly. It's like, same squared off edges, like, aluminum back, whatever, like... It's like, basically the only difference is it's got two cameras on the back, which honestly, I'm surprised Apple hasn't done already with the iPad Pro. Considering Apple's all about that multi-camera, they were the people who introduced it. It's an amazing device. As you can see, the Tab S6 is light, thin, and designed for productivity and creativity. It comes with a souped-up Best Pen, just like the Note. And you can pair it with a keyboard, which now, by popular demand, comes with a trackpad. The Tab S6 is perfect for working, watching, and drawing on I love, though, how they just interrupted the Note thing for the Tab S6, even though it's quite to obvious they Samsung weren't even done the with the account, Note. And you can access them on both devices. And we've made Samsung Notes better than ever. Although that transition was flawless. It's like, oh yeah, it syncs with Samsung Notes, which you can also use on the Note. Up your notes exactly the way you want. Yeah. And here's my favorite part. Now, handwritten notes don't have to stay on your phone or tablet. You can convert your handwriting into text easier than ever. So you can save your notes as text files, PDFs, or Word documents. And there's a Microsoft Word logo, so... Hmm. So, after a meeting, I don't have to run back to my desk to type out my notes. I can just export them right from my device, share them with... The fact that they're keeping the Word logo up there the longest time, languages. like... Yeah, I do wonder about the whole Microsoft rumor. To create a database of dozens of languages. So the S Pen can accurately convert your handwriting in Samsung Notes. And it's all powered by machine learning. Of course, the S Pen is much more than just a writing tool. It's a creativity and productivity tool, too. Last year, we added Bluetooth connectivity to give you new ways to control your note. Users loved being able to capture a photo with just the click of an S Pen. This year, we're building on that foundation by giving the S Pen a new six-axis motion sensor, including an accelerometer and a gyro sensor. OK, so the pen is basically just a Wii mode now. the direction and acceleration of your movements, the S Pen lets you control your device with simple gestures. To show you how it works, we have a product experience zone set up right outside. Let's go there now. Please welcome travel vlogger and filmmaker Ava Zubek. Hi, everyone. It's great to be here. My job takes me all around the world, but today I am right here in the... I love how they just have that live border around the, the screen, because it's totally not pre-recorded. ...how the S Pen works. Now, the thing about traveling for a living is that I end up in some pretty remote places, and most of the time, all by myself. This can make it difficult sometimes to document the experience to share with all of you. Now, when I'm traveling alone and I need a photo or a video, sometimes I'll just ask a stranger to take it for me. But let's face it, not every stranger is going to be able to take a good photo, and not every bystander is going to be willing to snap a picture of you. And this is why I am so excited about the new S Pen with remote control, because it'll make it so much easier for me to operate my camera when it's just me and my tripod. Let me show you how it works. So. I've got my Note 10, and I've got my tripod set up right here. In order to get started with the S Pen, I just hold down the S Pen button to open up the camera, and I'm ready to start shooting my vlog. There are so many cool modes that you can choose from, and with the S Pen's motion tracking feature, I can switch between them all using just the S Pen without ever having to actually touch the screen. If I want to zoom out or in, mm. I can do that with the S Pen 2. When I'm done that actually is pretty cool. Shot, I simply press the button, and there we have it. Now, when I'm traveling, sometimes I want to share with you some of the incredible places and landscapes that I encounter. So 
if I spot something interesting that is... Yeah, I wonder how it works outside, outside of the camera phone, app, though. I can simply swipe up, flip up with my S Pen, and it switches over to the back camera. It's pretty amazing, right? I can't wait to take the Note 10 with me on my next adventure. I'm off to Mongolia to do a solo horse trek, but I won't actually be solo because I'll have the Note 10 with me, and I hope that you guys all follow along. Back to you, Drew. Thanks, Ava. As you've seen, we've integrated new ways for the S Pen to control your phone more effectively, creatively, and productively. And it can be used to control other apps, too. We worked with YouTube to integrate motion controls into their app. Ah. And we're also giving Galaxy users access to YouTube Premium. So if I want to watch one of Ava's videos, I can play, pause, skip ahead to the next video, and control the volume. All I mean, this is like totally a gimmick. Screen. That probably is not going to be used by that much people because how many and people. Tonight, like, you might have your hands free, SDK, but why would so you also be holding the pen? Controls to their apps too. But I mean, it's still a cool out. idea, though, basically just turning the pen into a Wiimote. And I would love to see how games could With use that. With these new experiences, you'll want to use your S Pen more than ever. So we gave the S Pen a new and improved battery that can go hours on a single charge. And recharge How many is hours, easy though? As sliding your S Pen back into your note. The S Pen is a perfect example of how the note has changed the way we work and create. But it's not the only powerful creativity tool on the Note 10. It also comes with a state-of-the-art camera that lets you shoot like a pro. Look, smartphones have turned us all into photographers. We use our phones to capture our daily lives and share our most important memories. With the Note 10, there's a perfect lens for every shot, giving you the versatility to take incredible photos in a variety of situations. Our smartphones let us take amazing photos, but we want our videos to look professional too. To do that, we need the right tools. So today, we're taking the pro-grade photography tools of the Note and extending them to video. With the Note 10, you get an end-to-end -end video experience, from the picture quality to the sound to the editing. You know our live focus feature, the one that allows you to control the bokeh or background, background blur to get some really amazing looking photos? Well, with Note 10, you can apply bokeh to your videos too. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's like, I don't think any of phone does it for videos. So if you're shooting a close-up, you can choose an effect that keeps the focus right on the subject. And there's some awesome Especially in real time. Too. Cameras have always let us focus in on images. Now the Note 10 lets you zoom in on sounds. Huh? So as you zoom in, both the image and the sounds come into focus. Oh. So it increases the microphone volume, basically, whenever you zoom in? The Note okay. 10's video experience gives you a powerful tool for every situation, even the occasional action scene. For me, that's chasing our twins, Jack and Ava, around the house, trying to get them on camera at the same time. So this one's going to be perfect for me. Super Steady puts an action camera in your smartphone. We trained the Note 10 with over a million frames of footage so it can predict camera movements for different scenes. Can you spot the difference? Damn. Here, let's see it again. So using the Note 10's built-in gyro sensor, Super Steady detects That almost speed looks and too smooth, like creepily smooth. Footage for you. But filmmaking isn't just about capturing awesome video and audio. That's why we put an entire editing suite right on the Note 10. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Too. Oh my god. Now you have all the tools you need to tell your story. And who better Decide, to try yes. out one of the pros? We asked LA-based content creator Casey McPerry to give it a go. Hey everyone, my name is Casey McPerry and I'm a content creator based here in Los Angeles. Best camera is Over all the people that people always bring up on and these all events, I'm just like, who? really lets me be dynamic with my work. Super Steady is amazing for capturing content on the go and keeping your footage looking smooth. 
so cool that I can now separate my subject from the background and have a great depth of field for video capture as well as photography. Being able to capture and edit on one device gives me the freedom to create anywhere. Living in a place like Los Angeles is such a good source of inspiration. For Honestly, they probably should have balanced this video a bit better. The voice is like almost buried under the music. Fully create content on the go, all from one device. So Casey and his team both captured and edited that entire video on the Note 10 Plus. Pretty awesome, right? These days, we're constantly sharing photos and videos to stay in touch with our friends and family. And we're always looking for new ways to personalize with different stickers and effects. And now, the Note 10 lets you make your own. Mediums like augmented reality... Oh boy, here we go with the um, emoji kind of things. And the Note 10 lets you make the most of them. Today, we're launching a new experience that combines the power of the S Pen and the camera to let you create in entirely new ways. Let's go back to the product experience zone to see more. Please welcome illustrator and artist, Sean Dantes. Thanks, Drew, and hi, everyone. Now, I love those apps that let you layer and masks and filters over photos, and as a normie illustrator that mainly works in TD, I look at that and I think, whoa, that's pretty crazy. I would never have dreamed that something I could make something like that on something that fits in my pocket. And that's why I'm super excited about the Note 10's new feature, AR Doodle. So I'm going to show you how it God, works. And I'm going to I always hate the these AR my things. My model, Josh, over here. <laughs> hey, Hi, Josh. Hey. <laughs> it's um, like we don't so need an emojis and like emojis and all these Put stupid it in video things. Mode and click the AR Doodle icon in the top right corner. And I'm just going to start to draw. So I'm going to write Josh's name here in case any of you have forgotten it. Thank already <laughs> um and then i'm gonna use this 3d brush well that do doesn't look awkward just guys standing just there the background you know in such a fixed place for such a long time over here and then we're gonna use this special effect pen and set it to this gorgeous metallic pink color so the uh, the ar doodle is going to sense josh's face and stick my drawings to his face so if he moves around my drawings move too. And if he hides his face, they disappear. And when he's back, they come back too. So this also works in groups of people, which means that you can personalize everyone's filter to their personality, which I love, but it doesn't stop there. If I hit everywhere, we've, we've got a preloaded graphic here, very cute. Um, but we are going to add some of this water brush, which I really, really love. So this is an invisible pen but basically it tracks what's around it and shows its reflections, which is awesome. I'm gonna grab the metallic brush here and kind of draw a big spiral. And you can see, like I don't really understand how it works, but the Note 10 can kind of sense its surroundings with real, uh, like in reality. Okay, I mean, that point, that was kind of cool angle, there. Which I think is super, super cool. Like I've never seen something like this. On a phone. It reminds me of a uh, Google's Hello, Tilt Brush there? VR app, but going through a phone screen. <laughs> AR Doodle makes it super easy to add creativity to video, and I'm so excited to see how this changes the way that we work and play. I can imagine myself designing a whole exhibition while moving through a space, or I can see myself creating things that exist in my imagination and applying them to the world around us. If I can draw it with the S Pen, AR Doodle can bring it to life. Um, I'll be hanging out here in the product experience zone after the show to show you guys how to use it, so please come say hey to me, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Thanks, Sean. With AR, the world is your canvas. It's just one more example of how the Note 10 lets you flex your creative muscles in brand new ways. And if you choose a Note 10 Plus, you'll get access to another AR experience that'll bring a whole new dimension to your creativity and productivity through our depth vision camera. This camera is unlike anything we've ever put on a Note. Together with a wide angle lens, it's- So you got a three camera camera cut out and then uh, no, two Uses cameras and flash beside it truly next level that are not to cut out. Okay. Like 3D scanning. Now you can use your Note 10 Plus to scan an object and bring it's it It's like, to do life. you really need like five cameras on the back of a phone? Thanks, Drew. 
The 3D scanner is so much fun. Let me show you how it works with this little guy over here. He's a character from Samsung Kids Mode. His name is Bobby. Hey, Bob, you ready? Oh, boy. After I open up the 3D scanner app, I'm ready to start scanning. Here we go. So let's make sure that I get Bobby from every angle. Yeah. OK. I think I'm almost there now. Yeah, that kind of looks uh, Once I'm a bit scanning, creepy when scanned like that. Will come up on my screen. Now that I have it, I can create... Okay, but that actually things. looks kind of cool. Access to a 3D printer, you can use But you didn't get their full hands in the picture. You cut off their hands. Or you can create videos in three dimensions with Bobby as the main character. I'll show you how. First, let's apply body tracking. And then attach. The Note 10 will map his body so he can mirror your movements. Now, this will really bring him to life. Let's take a look. Hey. Hey, Sean. <laughs> Give us a wave. Wow, did you see that? Bobby's able to track Sean's movement. And he okay, some of the morphine looks really, really weird, weird, but I mean, I for all that to be done really on a phone in real time is kinda cool. If not a bit creepy looking. Isn't that awesome? Look at Bobby, he's got some moves. 3D scanning is a whole new medium of artistic expression. And as you can see, the possibilities are endless. Come check it out yourself here at the Product Experience Zone right after the show. Back to you, Drew. Thanks, Josh. And thanks, Bobby. As you just saw, the Note 10 opens up entirely new creative possibilities. Yeah, honestly, when you said 20 cameras phone, all I can think of is this. Using just our smartphones. And Note users will be some of the first to try it out. It's like apparently the camera on With that phone is so bad that people get freaked out by the, the whole trypophobia so you can effect relive, thing. Relive your favorite moments over and over again. Note 10 comes with all the storage capacity you need. It gives you laptop level storage without the laptop. To tell you more about the power and potential of this extraordinary device, please welcome Pooja Vig. Uh, Pooja. The name has poo in it. Ha ha. Thanks, Drew. It's absolutely fantastic to be here. And to tell you even more about the awesomeness of the Note 10 and the Galaxy ecosystem. From the beginning, we've designed Note devices to be fast, powerful, and long-lasting. So you can always be at the top of your game. Well, guess what? The Note 10 pushes those boundaries even more. It's a perfect tool for people who are always on the go and move seamlessly between work and life. Take me for example. I'm a working mom with two daughters, and as you can imagine, my plate is more than full. I use my note to keep it all together, whether it's at home or at work. From jotting down reminders to capturing special moments like this one, and yes, that is my daughter, <laughs> three years ago, the note helps me manage every aspect of my life. Uh, I forgot to disable that again. God what? damn it. Given that our phones are with us around the clock, it's like I went to do it and I forgot. Perform better, it's no surprise. We perform better. And one of the biggest proof points of performance is gaming. Smartphones are quickly becoming the most popular gaming. And now we're talking about gaming. Especially if you're playing a graphics heavy game, the Note 10 delivers. Oh, at least I didn't put Fortnite as the freaking promo video. Here's how. Our intelligent game booster actually analyzes your gaming pattern and optimizes its performance just for you. And to add more, the Note 10 has a vapor chamber that cools your phone down even when the game is heating up. So whether you're a casual gamer or a hardcore, it doesn't matter. 
you'll get the best experience possible. And as for console and PC gamers move to mobile, multiplayer support has become super critical. That's why yeah, console and PC gamers are totally moving so to mobile. So you can bring your friends directly Not. to your Note 10 and other Galaxy phones. Now, for the first time, you can voice chat with your squad and check their mobile game status directly through the Samsung Game Launcher mm. with Discord. Okay, I will say that's kind of cool having built-in Discord integration. Awesome stuff. So whether you're LFG or you want to tell your friends GG, you can do it even when you're AFK. Oh, God. From amazing but, gaming yeah, like, to all day productive. PC and console gamers and aren't moving the phones. Phone gamers powerful. are usually people who it only has a grew up with a phone. Processor and smooth high res graphics. And with the biggest and the smartest battery we've ever put onto a note, we've built to last all day. And there's more. Your Note 10 optimizes your battery usage so you can do the things that matter most. But if you do need a recharge, it won't take long. The Note 10 supports fast wireless charging 2.0. And for the first time, the Note 10 Plus also supports super fast wire charging up to 45 watts. Uh, finally. <laughs> Like, seriously, like, why is they not so have, like, a quick charge minutes. thing on their phones, phone considering how lo many no years that's whatsoever. been around? In just 30 minutes, the time it takes me to get through my morning... It's like the routine, Note is the perfect device to I make sense for that, considering it's a giant-ass phone with a giant-ass battery. No doubt, the Note 10 is a very powerful phone. And to keep up, we need a powerful network like 5G to support it. It's hyper fast and hyper connected, and it's poised to. AKA the thing most people won't see industry. for another like three years. So, what does that mean for you and me? Let's say we're live streaming a concert. Now, you can personalize and control your viewing experience like never before. You'll be able to watch from different angles and even zoom in to see your favorite singer up close. Or if you're a car racing fan and you want to catch a crucial turn, you can pause, rewind, and replay in slow-mo. Samsung is leading the way in 5G. The Galaxy S10 5G was one of the first commercial smartphones to put the power of this expanding network in your hands. And now, we're bringing that power to the Note with the Note 10 Plus 5G. But don't just take it from me. Industry. Thank you. Industry experts know that Samsung goes above and beyond. And they're recognizing us for our leadership in creating the next generation of 5G devices. 5G isn't just the fastest network. We're also working hard to make sure it's the most secure. With Samsung Knox, our devices are protected by a defense-grade security platform. After all, we trust our devices with our most valuable possession, our data. Knox is built into the S10 and anchored directly to the chipset to make sure the only person who can access your phone is you. And with regular software updates... And Knox short, also prevents rooting and all that stuff, which is why I don't get a Samsung phone. Because I want my stock Android, and the, the only way to do that is to the device. To super fast networks and to the entire Galaxy ecosystem. At Samsung, we're uniquely positioned to make sure all your devices work together to make your life better. From the phones in our pockets, to the laptops on our desks, to the smartwatches on our wrists. <laughs> Which brings me to the new and, yep. star. And Here we go Galaxy to the accessories ecosystem, and ecosystem the stuff. The Galaxy Watch Active 2. We unveiled it with LA chef and entrepreneur Roy Choi earlier this week. Let's check it out. I never understood why they reveal products like that, like, like earlier in the week. Considering like you got this big old event show, like why? And you got to talk about it during the event anyway, so why not just wait for the actual event? 
and stuff, kind of like a spoiling, you know, some of the event stuff. Like, There's so much to love about the Watch Active 2. One, it looks stunning. Two, I'm super jazzed that it comes in a size that's perfect for a smaller wrist like mine. And wait, we didn't stop there. We brought back but the wait, signature there's more. rotating bezel, which everyone adored, this time in a digital form. Honestly, that is one cool thing about Samsung's watches. I always love that rotating bezel you thing. The information that's most important to you, the Galaxy Watch. Because the whole thing with smartwatches is, is so like touchscreens don't really make sense because the, the screen is so small that, that you know you basically the covering the entire screen your finger and, and you can't see what you're doing. And it's a so having something like the rotating bezel or Apple's digital crown workout. actually makes and a lot of sense. It has powerful sensors that monitor everything from your stress levels to your sleep quality. And it provides real-time coaching through audio and haptic feedback to help you meet your fitness goals. So your workouts are always dynamic, effective, and most importantly, fun. And that's not all. For all us runners, we've teamed up with fitness experts to create the Galaxy Watch Active 2 Under Armour Edition. Let's see oh, what we Under put Armour. together. Hmm. So Apple's got Nike and Samsung's got Under Armour. As you can see, this special edition opens up some truly incredible experiences. You get the power of the Galaxy and the Under Armour ecosystem. This includes their amazing app, Map My Run, which offers advanced real-time form coaching to help make running easier and reduce your risk of injury. Your knees are gonna love it. <laughs> Your knees are going to love it. Also what a tagline. Your run data so you can track your progress and hold yourself true to your training plan. We could all use that. And you can take it up a notch by pairing your watch with Under Armour's signature connected hover shoes, which measure your stride and form to give you even deeper insights into your run. We're thrilled to build on our partnership and bring you these fabulous experiences. My favorite thing about the Galaxy Watch 2, that I can stay connected and leave my phone behind. It comes in an LTE version, so you can take the calls and send messages directly through the watch. And if you're logged into your Samsung account, you can also access other cool services like Samsung Health and Samsung Pay. And if you're listening to a beat on Spotify, you can start playing a song on your phone, then go for a run and keep listening with just your watch and your Galaxy Buds. Hell, you can even use your watch to snap a group selfie from your phone. Did they just say How hell? Cool is that? Oh, a Samsung conference. Your Watch Active 2 becomes even more powerful when you use it with your phone because the Note 10 comes with the wireless power share. That means when your phone is running low on battery, you can just place it on the back of your phone to charge. Quick, simple, easy. By connecting the most important devices and services in your life, the Galaxy ecosystem empowers you to pursue your passions from training for a marathon to sharing the finish line picks with your family. With the Galaxy Watch Active 2, you can stay healthy, fit, and connected. And now is the best part. In terms of availability, the Active 2 starts at 279, and you can buy beginning September 13th.
And you can also get our awesome new Tab S6, which Drew showed you earlier, in just a couple of weeks. The Tab S6 starts at 649, and it's available from August 23rd. Uh, that's expensive. No doubt, these new devices will help you unlock your full potential and your pioneering spirit to do what you do best, no matter where you go. Now, to tell you more about the future of mobile computing, please welcome Hassan Anjum. Hmm. Thanks, Pujo. How's everyone doing? Considering they call it mobile computing and Good. stuff, I definitely These think this, if Microsoft's going to show up, it might be around now. Help us navigate the constant flow between work and life. Now, I travel a lot, like because like they could sure, be saying like, oh, we're gonna give like a and, full uh, office experience are, or something on stay connected to everything that's bones, maybe. To us. I don't know. The Note 10 is great for working on the go, but sometimes you need that full PC experience to yeah. get stuff done. So now we're gonna talk about Dex, most likely, or that's full why laptops. We introduced yeah. Samsung Dex, Dex two years ago. Samsung Dex gives you that familiar PC-like experience with just a monitor, mouse, and keyboard. And it's all powered by a Galaxy. I, I honestly, I, now I'm thinking about what if Dex just to allows you to Dex use Windows because they do year. have Linux for Dex. So today, I'm really happy to announce that Dex now works on your laptop as well, both PC and Mac. All oh. you need is a simple USB-C cable. I mean, that's kind of cool, but like, if you already have a PC and Mac in front of you, why would you want to use Dex? So Dex works by extending the power of your phone to your PC. And now we're taking it to the next level by making the two really seamlessly integrated. Today, we're excited to announce a major new partnership with our good friends Is at it? Microsoft. Yep, there you go. We're integrating key services into the Note 10 and really unifying the PC to mobile experience. To tell us more, please welcome from Microsoft, Shilpa Ranganathan. OK, Thanks, not what I thought, but yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm thrilled to be here with you today. Our mission at Microsoft is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. And that is why I am so excited about our partnership with Samsung. Today, we bring together the powerful new Galaxy Note 10 with some of Microsoft's intelligent software experiences designed to help you stay productive anytime, anywhere. I'm really excited today to show you a few of the integrated experiences that we've been working on together. Now, we all lead busy lives, and we're constantly juggling many responsibilities. We switch between devices ever so often to complete tasks. And this going back and forth between devices is inefficient. Yeah, that's I still don't get it, because like, the whole point of DeX is it's supposed to be like, if you don't have a PC, to you can. the link to Windows button right in the quick panel. Oh. That's so if you can see it here, I have actually linked my PC to my Galaxy Note 10. But yeah, it's like it the whole point of Dex is to be like, oh yeah, you Note don't want to buy Windows a full PC. PC. Well, you can basically use your phone as you a PC by hooking up to a most monitor. Recent texts, notifications, pictures, and much more from inside your your phone app. I can now reply to my text. So putting Dex on PC kind of you know include a picture that is I against the purpose of Dex, but. And send it away. I and I guess cool thing is you can keyboard. use Android apps. Notifications from my phone are mirrored on my PC. These notifications are natively integrated into Windows. I have a friend here sending me a message on my phone. You see the notification being mirrored here. I can either reply in line here. Or yeah, I've been using the app for months already. This is not the new. Notification to be able to get my entire phone screen. Although this has always has been PC. Samsung exclusive, now, which is annoying. And my mouse, like I showed because like the your phone app works for every phone, but if you want to do the screen touch. mirroring, you so actually to have to I can look at all have a Samsung phone, which there. is dumb. I could go into one of my pictures. So the picture that you just saw, I'm able to pinch and zoom as well. And if people send me messages with pictures in them, I can do that exact same thing as well. I'm really excited to announce that later this year, we will be enabling you to make and receive calls as well directly from your PC. Now, we've also partnered with Samsung on the Note 10 to bring you deeply integrated productivity experiences with OneDrive and Outlook. With OneDrive, you have easy access you. to all of your pictures across your devices. And coming soon, 
Samsung Gallery will have an option to sync to OneDrive directly. Now, some of us take pictures to remember things, record sensitive information like driver's licenses or passports. Um, I'm excited to announce that our new feature, OneDrive Personal Vault, helps secure all of that information in the cloud. Now, I can open my vault directly from my OneDrive app by using my biometric recognition on my Note 10. I can scan all kinds of sensitive documents and store them safely. Let's try tr scanning this driver's license, and it clearly is not my driver's license. So I take a picture, OneDrive cleans it up, I have the ability to upload it directly, and then once I'm done, I can easily lock this. There you have it. Between the security available on the Note 10 and in the cloud, we've got your back. Now, I get a lot of email every day, and if you're like me, you want an easy and quick way to triage and prioritize emails that need actions. With, the, uh, with our Outlook app and the S Pen coming together in an integrated experience, we have just that. With our partnership with Samsung, you have access to quickly uh, glance at all of your email um, in Outlook. So here again, I can quickly take action. If I have a meeting request with my S Pen, I have now the ability to be able to reply as well directly without leaving Outlook. If I have an email that I wanted to quickly respond to, I can actually use Outlook's intelligent suggested replies to be able to quickly insert that response. I can also use my pen to personalize it. And off we go. You can add a really nice touch with the S Pen inside Outlook. You could write it, you could send it, and the S Pen's really designed for productivity. And with Outlook, there will be no stopping you from getting to a productive place with your email. I'm excited that we're coming together with Samsung to innovate in hardware, software, and services. We will meet you where you are, both on your Windows PC and on your brand new Galaxy Note 10. This is the start of an amazing collaboration between Microsoft and Samsung. And together, we celebrate- Honestly, if that was it for the access, you know big Microsoft rumor thing, you. like, that's so thank you. meh. Back to like, you, Hassan. It's not really if I knew. It's like the earphone thing has already existed. The Dex mirroring is basically just an evolution of the current mirroring, which doesn't really make much sense. You can check it out in yourself. And then, okay, they add S Pen support to the email app. Okay. The devices you're seeing here are made for a new generation of users, a generation that relies on technology to keep going all day wherever we are. We need all of our devices to be portable connected and powerful. You've already met the Note 10, the Tab S6, and the amazing Watch Active 2. And as a product guy, I'm so excited to introduce you to the next and newest member of the Galaxy family. It's a device that's going to usher in a new Okay, so it's like a laptop maybe? The Galaxy Book S. Okay. Okay, so this might actually be the big Microsoft news now I'm thinking about, because this could be like a Windows Core OS product, maybe? But it's interesting the market as a Galaxy product, because usually the laptops are not Galaxy. They use the laptop as a clock, that's funny. So the big question is like, yeah, is it gonna be like a DeX laptop or is it gonna be like Windows Core OS, which hasn't even been formally announced yet and everybody's been speculating? Or is it gonna be just traditional Windows? It really is a beautiful device, super slim, ultra light, and it comes in two stunning colors. It's got a gorgeous 13-inch touchscreen, perfect for wa watching movies or getting work done on the go. Now, it looks like a laptop, but it's got the essence of a smartphone. The best of both worlds, thanks to our friends at Microsoft and Qualcomm. In hmm. fact, the CEO of Qualcomm, Steve Molenkoff, is here today. Everyone say hi to Steve. 
Okay, so it's like those Windows Always Connected PCs that will exist with the Qualcomm That's chip inside, but is it going to run and actual Windows or is it going to run The Galaxy Core Book S. S has a powerful mobile chipset with LTE connectivity. That means you have the freedom to work anywhere, anytime. Look, your phone's always connected, so why wouldn't you want that for your PC? Uh, well, with the Galaxy Book S, you okay, that looks like that. maybe a Windows. Secure, dedicated connection, and it runs Windows 10, so you get yeah. all the benefits of a PC environment. So it's really just standard Microsoft Windows Office 10. And okay. Your phone app that Shilpa showed you earlier, and this new level of partnership is just the beginning. The Galaxy Book S represents the power of mobile computing. And it keeps up with you all day long. Its super powerful battery lasts 23 hours. Yeah, I mean, a 23 hour laptop is actually pretty badass, but like. So, if you're going camping overnight and uh, you want to take your Galaxy Book S, you don't even have to take your charger with you. Oh, and yes, I'm one of those guys. I know I should be roasting marshmallows, but that's a conversation for another time. Okay. And when I do need to plug in, I don't have to carry around a separate heavy charger. I can just use the same one as my Note 10. Yeah, honestly, it's like this kind of just doesn't seem like that big of a deal because I mean, they Samsung makes Windows notebooks all the damn time, and I mean, the Galaxy. Like, sure, it might be under the S Galaxy brand instead, and it's like way thinner and a lot of battery and shit. But like, it's just a standard Windows laptop. At 9.99, beginning in September. Okay, so basically like a MacBook kind of price. Thank you. And uh, on that note, I can't wait for you to try it out and experience the future of mobile computing. And now, please welcome back Drew Blackard. It's like now if they use it as the first like Windows like Core OS, whatever you want to call it, device, then that would be a huge announcement, but it's literally just it's a song. standard Windows laptop that we Samsung just already introduce makes. New devices today. We introduced new experiences. God, how is there still this much left in the freaking video? Device, service, and platform within the Samsung Galaxy. Every product we make, every experience we create. It's like, I'm sure at the end there will be some extra padding stuff, but there's no way it's like half of the video. Between work and play. Whether you choose the Note 10 or the Note 10 Plus, your device will unlock a world of possibilities. The Note 10 will be available starting at $949. Oh, God. The Note 10 Plus starting at $1099. And you can get your... $1,300 for the starting app price for the LTE model. I mean, the 5G model. Like, God. Pre-orders begin tomorrow. And for the first time, you can even pre-order... I mean, good thing is most people don't need the 5G, but, like, online still. Online stores Ugh. across the country. But it's like, that's the starting price. Like, what is it going to be once you max devices, out the storage and shit? You oh my god. You, want. you can be creative. You can be Actually, creative. I can probably look. And most importantly, you can be yourself. Now, please welcome back to the stage, DJ Ko. Okay, DJ Ko is back. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Drew. Thank you. What a great show so far. The Galaxy Note 10, the world's most powerful and innovative mobile experience. The Galaxy Book S, a new mobile computing category for the mobile first generation. But we are not quite done yet. Don't worry. I didn't forget that I promised you a special guest. You see, oh. I know we can't fulfill the promise of experience innovation alone. New mobile experiences require open collaboration. This is an approach we believe technology companies can embrace and a responsibility we can all share. So it gives me great pleasure to share 
important news about the evolution of Samsung's partnership with Microsoft. Okay, so he, here's going to be Satya and Nadella, right? Have to work together for many years to make a computing more productive and more powerful. Now, we are beginning a new chapter of our long-term commitment to improve productivity and eliminate the gap between mobile devices and the PC. To tell you more, please join me in welcoming Microsoft to CEO. Yep, Sandia there we go. Okay, so maybe they could still show something. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. See you soon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, DJ. It's so awesome to be here at your launch event. Microsoft and Samsung have had a long history of innovation across everything that we do, hardware, software, and services. And today, what we announced and what Shilpa showed you marks the next stage of this partnership. And more broadly, a profound shift in how we interact with the many devices in our lives. For years, applications have been built and purpose-built for single devices, whether it's the phone, the PC, or the TV, or even your watch. But in a world of 5G, cloud, and AI, we get to rethink it. Oof, I just looked up the price. The maxed out 5G is, is 1,400 bucks for 512 gigs of storage. Multi -device and multi -sense. Like, a world ooh, where the it's like $1,500, I know. No longer just starts with the device, but starts with the people. It includes all the devices. In and our for, when you buy and it pre order from Verizon, you actually get a free Note 10 alongside it. So, our why? Like you order a, a Note 10 5G and you also get a normal Note 10? Device anywhere. From like, why would you need two notes? Messages to emails and photos, we are making these everyday experiences. Great. The interactions across all the devices seamless. As you saw today, now you can instantly sync. I mean, hey, at least that's a cool value because I mean, you're basically you getting a thousand dollar phone for free with a thousand five hundred dollar phone. Personal information so it's like definitely way more value for getting it for free. Access text messages and make and take calls from your PC. And you can do it using any input, voice, pen, touch, and more. Microsoft's mission is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. At any moment, we want, within your arm's reach, the greatest of experiences, wherever so you are. So I do wonder, it's like, are they just going to have him talk here? Microsoft or are they actually going to show off CoreOS for the first time? Powerful, innovative new devices like the Galaxy Note 10 and Galaxy Book S make this possible. This is just a Because I mean, now that I think about it, because like they have a 5G model, you know, obviously of the Note 10, even though 5G is not that, you know, big deal. So like, what if like, oh, they also show we have a Core S model of the book. But I doubt considering they're already like getting off stage. Thank you so much. But I mean, we do have like half a video left, so. I look forward to a long partnership as we continue to work together to create seamless connections across devices and experiences. I believe this partnership is a perfect example of what we mean by open collaboration. The impact of this philosophy also extends to our commitment to help create a smarter, safer, and more sustainable world. One way we live up to this responsibility is through educational programs, like Samsung Soul hmm. for Tomorrow. Since 
2010. I wonder if this is what they're going to use to go into it, because, like, from what I've heard, the rumors are that the Core OS thing is not only, like, a rebuild of Windows from the ground up, which would be insane, but it's also aimed to be kind of like a Chrome OS competitor, which is the perfect thing for the education market. We are also helping create a more sustainable world by using uh. more and more recycled material in our products. And through programs like a Galax Upcycling, which turns all the Galaxy smartphones into new IoT devices. I'm also proud of our support for the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals to end poverty, fight inequality, and stop climate change. Thank you. Now, the potential to use the power of technology to address the world's most pressing challenges is greater than ever. So today, I'm excited to announce that we are deepening our commitment to help the United Nations Development Program achieve the global goals by 2030. Thank you. Through this new initiative, we will offer the Galaxy community simple and powerful ways to learn about the global goals and support the causes they care about. At the heart of this initiative is the new Samsung Global Goals app on Galaxy smartphones that will increase awareness and raise funds. In addition, we are launching new special edition Galaxy Mobile accessories with the profits going to the Global Goals. To tell you more, thank you. To tell you more, please welcome UNDP Administrator Ahim Steiner. Thank you so much, DJ. Good afternoon to all of you here in Brooklyn, this beautiful borough in New York City. Hello to everyone following this event around the world. I can feel the collective heartbeat here in the hall and I'm sure around the world that all this amazing technology, the power and ingenuity of technology clearly brings us together today. But as DJ Ko just said, it's also the power of collaboration. And I'm very proud to be here this afternoon on behalf of what is perhaps the greatest open source platform the world has ever thought of the United Nations. And together, we are announcing this afternoon and launching a partnership that is without precedent, reaching millions of people, allowing them to be part of that open collaborative community that cares about what happens next in our world. Technology is fascinating. Technology empowers. Technology connects us. The global goals are perhaps the greatest declaration of collaboration and interdependence that we have ever dared to make. So this afternoon, in launching this Global Goals app with Samsung and the United Nations Development Program, I'm very proud to open a new chapter in helping people to come together. The Global Goals is nothing less and nothing more than an invitation for every citizen on this planet to feel that they can make a difference. Through the Global Goals app, you will be able to learn, you are able to support the Global Goals by letting them earn income that will allow us to do many of the things around the world that matter to all of us, and also to donate. So let me just tell you, you may not have heard of the Sustainable Development Goals before, but if you are part of Samsung Unpacked, if you are part of the Samsung ecosystem, then hopefully in a few months, that will never ever be said again. And let me just say, the United Nations belongs to you. The global goals are yours. They unite us. They help us to address poverty, to deal with climate change, to also deal with pandemics, to allow the world to be connected because half the world is not yet connected to the universe that we are celebrating here this afternoon. So on behalf of a very powerful idea that today is joining hands with very powerful and ingenious technology and products, 
Let us make the global goals a promise to ourselves and to the world. Thank you, DJ. Thank you to all of you who have made this possible. Thank you. Let's just do this. I think we must make a full time over here. Like this, yeah. We're going to play together and hopefully play together with all of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making uh, this possible. Playing with Thank all you of you. Today. Thank you, Ahim. Thank you so much. Now, we have the power to inspire the galaxy community to take a small actions that can achieve exponential good. I look forward to working together with a purpose and commitment to deliver a new generation of mobile experiences that help build a better global society. Thank you to all who joined us through the live stream from all around the world. Okay, so is that it? Here at Barclays. Please enjoy the showcase. Thank you. Okay, so that's why it's so long Thank because they're going to be showing members. this showcase, I guess. Which is definitely different because they usually don't Thank show you. that stuff on the live stream. It's usually a press only thing, but I mean. It's a concern they did do those live from the showcase things, like maybe they just figured, oh, we'll stream showcase this year. I would add or just the timer thing is really inaccurate, there's just going to be a lot of silence after this. Oh, let's see here, I guess. Is it going to cut to anything, or should I just stop it? Okay, so now it's just replaying the ad over and over. Okay, yeah, like, that's kind of weird. Like, why would it just replay the ad to the end of that? that that's kind of dumb, but oh well. Okay, well, so that's it for that. Honestly, like, trying to think what my thoughts would even be with that, like... The phone itself, you know, looks pretty bog-standard or whatever. The Microsoft announced that that was rumored to be like some huge ass thing is like, not really. It's like the actual announcement wasn't that interesting, and sure, they brought the CEO on stage, but I mean, it's only for like a few minutes and they didn't even really talk on that much. And it's like, oh yeah, well, partnership with Microsoft, whatever, well, Samsung has had a partnership with Microsoft for years now, that's not a new thing, so it's like, there not, wasn't really anything exciting there for the Microsoft part. Um, the new laptop, whatever, you know, it's like, it's a fine laptop, I'm sure it'll be great, you know, as a MacBook competitor, but it's also not really anything special. It's just another Windows laptop by Samsung, which I've made many of. Um, the smartwatch and tablet, oh well, you know. So yeah, overall, like, not really that interesting of an event, to be honest. Is that the last one was definitely way more interesting, but then again, that's because I have the full device, and that's been rumored you know, and teased for years, so, like, of course that's gonna be big, even though the device itself ended up being kind of a bit of a flop, but, I mean, but it's like, yeah, honestly, just, like, wasn't that interesting. <laughs>